When I think of John Brockman, um, there's a few words that come to mind. Um, integrity is, was one of them. Um, hard working. Um, he's the hardest working person I've ever come across, especially like as far as competing and practice day to day. Um, in the games, uh, there was no person I'd rather go to war with than John. It's pretty, you know, it's hard to put into words uh, how good of a teammate and a friend John was. I was always kind of the younger brother, starting off with Friends of Hoop, our AAU team. Uh, when I joined up with them, they were pretty well established, and I was kind of the, the young guy trying to make my way. And, and from day one, he especially welcomed me with open arms in, in what was pretty a pretty intimidating atmosphere. Every day, John Brockman, for four years, practiced as if he were trying to make the team. Someone with all of that ability just doesn't usually possess that type of gift. Every day he got after it, every drill. And him coming to Washington, I believe, uh, continued to make Washington a viable option for people to, to, to come, the locals, to come to the University of Washington. I think it gave us national respect to know that John Brockman, a McDonald's All-American, someone that had won countless championships in the summer in travel ball, was very good with his high school team, uh, gave us a lot of credibility. And you're talking about three McDonald's All-Americans, and John was a Gatorade Player of the Year. I think that says kind of all you need to know about uh, his reputation and his production before he even got to the University of Washington. John was a leader that just showed more than he told. You know, he if he had to, he would come out and, and speak and be vocal about it. But the, the fact that you see his blood, sweat, and tears on the floor every single day and being that type of leader, it really set the tone for all of us. We all fell in line because um, he was doing the things that everyone should have been doing, the dirty work. He was doing the job that from one to the 15th guy should have been doing. And so um, John is Unbelievable leader, uh, unbelievable person, and you know, I owe him a lot of credit for my career. I want to say congratulations. So happy for you and your family. Uh, it's so well deserved that you're going in the Husky Hall of Fame. I can't think of anybody uh, that's earned it more than you have, and, and so happy for you, and can't wait to celebrate your night and then celebrate your baby. John, you are not only being inducted to the Hall of Fame for what you've done on the basketball floor, but as far as I'm concerned, uh, you're a Hall of Fame person before you even came to the University of Washington. You're a Hall of Fame, Fame teammate. You're a Hall of Fame player to coach. Congratulations. It meant so much to us as Husky Nation. And without you, I don't know if we had, would have had the runs we had or the careers we've had. And without you, man, I, I don't know, I'll be the person I am today as far as hard work, determination, grit, um, and integrity on and off the floor. Um, you exemplify so much for me, and you know, I love your brother, love your family, and congratulations, man. Well deserved.